students will be able to use segment addition to solve for lengths. The do now. Determine the length of segment CD. So we see AB is 15, BC is 20, and this entire amount is 54. So then CD, so 54 equals 15 plus 20 plus segment CD. So this amount is 35. So to isolate CD, we need to subtract 35 from both sides. We'll have 54 minus 35 equals 19. CD equals 19 units. Good. On the next one, determine the length of segment HI and segment GJ. So HI, GH. So here's what we can say. GI, which is 7, 7 equals 2 plus HI. So that means that segment HI equals 5 units. So now if this is 5, now determine the length of GJ. So from G to J is 7 plus 12. Seventeen units. Okay, great. Next, find ED, BC, and EC. Okay, so we have from D to B is thirty. Then from D to C is sixteen. So that means from C to B is 14. Let's show that. So we'll say 30 equals 16 plus BC. So that means BC equals 14 units. Now we can put that in there. Now we can find ED because um, ED plus, so we have ED here and we have the rest of it which is 30. So thirty plus ED equals the entire thing, 49. So now subtract 30 from both sides and say 49 minus 30 is 19. ED equal 19 units. And now it asks us to find EC. EC equal 19 plus 16, which is um, 35 units. And finally, a quadratic. Yes, excellent. So x squared minus 4x minus 32 equals 0. The quadratic is already set equal to 0. So ac equal 1 times negative 32 equal negative 32. b equal negative 4. So we're looking for two numbers that will add to equal negative 4 and multiply to equal negative 32. So we're looking at 8 and 4. Which one should be negative? 8 should be negative so that when they add, it equals negative 4. So that means we're saying that 
x squared minus 8x plus 4x. That's breaking this up into minus 8x plus 4x. Minus 32 equals 0. So we cover the right side, and on the left side, we see that we can factor out 1x. So we have x times something. x times something is x squared, that's x. x times something is minus 8x, that's minus 8. If we did this right, we're going to get x minus 8 again right here. Cover this side. 4x minus 32, we can factor out 4. When we take out 4, we're left with 4 times something equals positive 4x, so this must be x, and this must be plus, because plus times plus is plus. Then we say 4 times something is negative 32, that's minus 8, and you see that we must have done something right because these match. So now we have our outside factor, x plus 4, and our inside factor, x minus 8. So we set each of them equal to 0, and we solve, and we end up with x equal negative 4, and x equal 8. That's the do now. Great job, smarty pants.